You guys, get into this mofongo recipe with sauteed shrimp. It is absolutely delicious. And if you don't know already, mofongo is a traditional Puerto Rican and Dominican side dish. It's made with unripened plantains. It is so amazing, you guys. Let's get into it. So for this mofongo dish, we are going to pair it with a side of sauteed shrimp that is made in a creamy sofrito sauce. So we're going to start by making a quick and easy sofrito. It's basically a savory blend of fresh garlic, onions, bell peppers, cilantro, and tomatoes. It's like a Puerto Rican type sauce. It's used as a base for a lot of different dishes. You can use it for rice dishes, soups, stews, marinades. We like to keep it on hand at all times just so that we have it to start our dishes with. So start by cutting up your bell peppers. You are going to just give them a rough chop. You're going to want to remove all of the seeds and veins from your peppers and then you're going to add everything to a blender along with your cilantro and blend it up until it is nice and smooth and just go ahead and put this in an airtight container and set it aside. And now you're going to grab your unripe plantains. These are going to be the green plantains. They're not sweet at all. That is very important when you're making this type of mofongo because we are actually going to fry the plantains. So we don't want sweet, we want unripened green ones. Go ahead and use a knife and get that peel off of the plantains. It is pretty hard, they're stuck on there, so you definitely wanna use a knife to get it started. Once you get them all peeled up, you are going to chop them into about one inch size cubes, just big enough so that we can fry them in a pan of shallow oil. And hey, while you're here, be sure to subscribe to my channel because I have a lot of delicious recipes. Once you get that oil heated up to about 350 degrees, you are going to drop your plantains directly into the hot grease. And be careful not to overcrowd the pan, just get enough in there so that you can get them fried up. We are going to fry the plantains until they are golden brown. And be sure to move them around the pan every minute or so so that they cook evenly on every single side. And while these plantains are frying up, let me tell you a fun fact about mofongo. Although we know and love it as a traditional Puerto Rican and Dominican dish, Mofongo was actually introduced to the islands by way of West and Central African enslaved people. So while both Dominican and Puerto Ricans like to say that they introduced Mofongo or it's their national dish, it was actually brought to the islands by black people. So in honor of Black History Month, that is a cool fun fact about this delicious side dish but we all know and love it the same. And Dominicans actually make it a little bit differently. They like to steam their plantains versus fry. This is just one of those dishes that everybody makes differently and everybody's abuelas make it different and everybody has the best recipe. But I can guarantee you this one is absolutely delicious. So once you get those plantains fried nice and golden brown, you are going to get your mortar and pestle out. If you don't have one of these, you can use a potato masher, you can use a cup to smash them down. The point is you want to get the plantains nice and smashed down. You're going to add a couple heads of garlic in there. You can add your salt now. You can also add your chicharrones, which is a typical ingredient added to mofongo just to give it a little more protein and a little more texture. When I'm making mofongo, I like to line my mortar with some plastic wrap just to make it easy to get out of there and it also makes cleanup a breeze. So once I got a couple heads of garlic mashed down real nicely, I added about three or four pieces of the plantain that we fried up. Then I add in my salt and I go ahead and get to work. You want to mash this down with your pestle for about one to two minutes. The point is to get everything mixed up real nicely. Like I said, you can add your chicharrones. You can definitely skip this step if you don't like them, but it adds a lot of great flavor to your mofongo. You definitely have to try to add them at least one time just to see what it tastes like. You can pair mofongo with virtually any protein. I love to eat it on the side with some chicken. You can eat it with soup. It's a very inexpensive side dish to make that gets you very full. So a lot of people like to enjoy straight mofongo with just some broth or something on the side and I guarantee you, you will get super full. After I made the mofongo with the chicharrones, I made another mofongo with the sofrito that we made. So same thing, you're going to add your plantains to your mortar, you're going to add your salt and then we put in some of that sofrito that we made previously. And we began to mash this down for about two to three minutes until everything was fully combined and mashed up real nicely. Mm -hmm. 
then as you're mashing down your plantains, if you feel like you need more, feel free to add another piece to the mortar. And of course you want to adjust your seasonings, your salt, your pepper, and add more sofrito if you need to. And once you get all of this mashed down and you get your mofongo made and molded into a semi-round shape, you're going to set it aside and we're going to get started on our sauteed shrimp. So we have our seasonings here, seasoning, salt, garlic powder, black pepper, and we have some jumbo prawns, clean and de-veined. We got the veins out of both sides of the shrimp, which is super important. Just make sure they're very, very clean. Then I heated up a cast iron skillet over medium heat on the stove and we added about two tablespoons of olive oil. Once that olive oil is piping hot, we're going to add our cleaned and seasoned shrimp directly into the oil. Go ahead and let that shrimp just sizzle away for about one minute and try not to interrupt the shrimp. Just let it sear on each side for about one minute. Then you're going to take your tongs and flip it over. The beauty of shrimp is that it cooks super, super fast. I'm talking two, maybe three minutes tops. You do not want overcooked shrimp. So once we get a sear on each side, we're going to go ahead and add in our sofrito that we made previously. The shrimp is going to continue to cook in the sofrito and we are going to allow it to simmer for about one minute or so. Now you can toss it around so that it's all nice and coated by the sofrito sauce that we added into it. And just allow your shrimp to simmer away. We added a little bit more sofrito so that we could have more sauce because we want to kind of drench our mofongo with a side of this sauteed shrimp in this sofrito sauce. After the shrimp is fully cooked and the sofrito is heated up, we're going to add about two tablespoons of heavy cream directly into the sauce. And you guys, this turns out so creamy and so delicious. It's time to plate it up. Add your mofongo onto your plate. It's going to be your vessel to sop up all of that delicious sofrito cream sauce that we made and we sauteed the shrimp in. Then you are just going to spoon your shrimp all around that plate. Add the extra cream sauce right over top the mofongo. You guys can enjoy this with, like I said, a side of just broth. Or if seafood's not your thing, you can even use chicken, pork, or beef as your protein. I hope you guys enjoyed. The full recipe is linked below in the caption. See you back soon.